Avery Cotton is combing through nearly 100 pages that show when Jordan was home with his birth family, he suffered greatly. Good morning. You know, it's one of those stories that just keeps getting worse every time you hear it. Just hits you right in the pit of your stomach every time. So these documents talk about things no child should ever go through. And what's worse, Jordan's mother never seemed to recognize that her actions were dangerous, even life-threatening to her baby. Paperwork documenting the sad, short life that two-year-old Jordan Beliveau was born into. His father, a known gang member. His mom, seemingly oblivious to the life she was exposing her son to. Within a few months of Jordan's life, child investigators were already inside their home, which is often filled with drugs and gang members. In 2017, investigators wrote, the home is never clean. The father sells cocaine and marijuana from the home. The mother and father use marijuana and cocaine all of the time while inside the home. On top of the drugs, violence that no child should ever bear witness to. A 10-month-old child, Jordan Beliveau Jr., was hit in the face during a fight. The notes even reveal mom, Cherie Stinson, would fight while holding Jordan in her arms in public places like Burger King. The mother has lost custody of her children in the past due to fighting. Jordan was placed into foster care for a year and a half with a family who grew to love him. Pictures show what could have been, what should have been. Instead, Friday, August 31st, a judge released Jordan back to his mother, who was arrested for his murder just four days after he was back in her care. And in the meantime, Cherie Stinson remains in jail on no bond, charged with first-degree murder. Relatives tell us she is currently pregnant with a baby girl, and they are vowing to do everything they can to make sure that baby gets a good life. Again, there's just no words. There are just no words about how heartbreaking this story is. I'm just sick inside over yeah. this. The more we hear, the more disturbing yeah. it gets. And from the very beginning, something sounded suspicious. Mm. Investigators said there's something up with this, mm -hmm. but they wanted to find the child. And now that we have found the child, unfortunately dead, yeah. it just, you're right, doesn't more get any better. This one for sure. right. Thanks, Thanks, Avery. Avery. Well, this